Hey Lem fam, how can you build a personal brand that will attract new job offers, new business partnerships, or even tons of revenue your way? That's what we're gonna see in this video. The other day, Kyla wrote to me asking how to build a personal brand. The first thing I ask her is three questions, and those are the questions you could ask yourself if you also wanna build a personal brand. The first one is, what is one skill or topic that you master? Second one is, what are the things you've learned in the last two years? The third one, is what is one topic you're passionate about and the fourth one is what you want to be known for we all have some passion we all have things that we're really good at and often they are kind of tied together for a personal brand it's super important that you stay passionate about what you do because the truth is to build a brand whether it's for your company or a personal brand it takes time and when I say that it takes time it's not something that's just gonna take you like two months it's really something that you need to see in the long run whenever thinking about building a personal brand especially if you're starting from scratch, think that you're going to invest at least two years of your life talking about a similar topic. Obviously, you can change as you grow, you can add more topics, etc., etc. but there is still a consistency that is needed for you to grow your brand. So let's look at Kyla's answer. She loves Pinterest marketing, content propagation, digital product creation. She's passionate about blogging and I'd love a legacy of encouraging people to blog just for fun, not for money, but just because they've always wanted to try. I think this is really interesting here because because we can definitely see what Kayla has been doing before, meaning like Pinterest marketing. Her tagline and her bio is actually about that. Let's get you going on Pinterest. However, she wants to be known for someone encouraging other people to blog just for fun. So here clearly the goal of Kayla and what she wants to be known for is blogging. She had success blogging and she wants to inspire more people blogging, which is to be honest, pretty much what I'm doing here. Like uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I build a very successful companies. I sold one another one is worth now more than 150 million dollars but my goal here is just to share the things i love so more entrepreneurs out there can do the same so let's go on her profile as you can see everything is oriented towards pinterest however kyla is really passionate about blogging so personally i would change the bio instead of mentioning pinterest i would focus on the blogging part which could be i give daily tips on how to become a better blogger or you can be even more specific for example i give daily tips for people who who've always wanted to blog but never felt confident enough to do it so they can start generate revenue from it or not. It depends on what they want to achieve. The idea basically here is to be as specific as possible so whenever people see Kyla in the comments, they see just below her name, their bio. The bio can generate interest and triggers curiosity which will make you click on one's profile to understand what they do. So here, I will try to do exactly that. Same for the banner. I would change entirely the banner so it reflects much more what Kyla want to do, which is help people blogging. The about section is written as if someone else wrote it. For me, I think it's not something you should do. I know that it looks very professional and it looks as if you wrote a book and someone else is writing actually the description about yourself. But to be honest, on LinkedIn, I would go with something much more casual. So for example, it could be like, hey, if you're visiting this LinkedIn profile, it probably means that you are interested in starting a blog. Actually, the reason why I'm sharing all these tips is because in the last years, I've reached tens of thousands of people with my blogging or even hundreds of thousands to just add numbers so it looks even more real. And I want more people to be able to do the same thing as I did. All my tips are genuine and proven tactics that I've personally used to grow my audience and following to X, Y, Z. Again, the about section is just to connect even more and build trust with your audience so they start following you, engaging with you, or messaging you and then build relationships. Once the profile is redone, the strategy is pretty straightforward again. I would try to figure out who on LinkedIn is targeting this audience of people who want to get started blogging and I would start writing thoughtful comments just so my name stand out even more and I drive tons of traffic to my profile. Here, as we can see, Kyla has 745 followers, which is the beginning of her journey. But down the line, if she keep engaging, with a lot of creators content and then post also daily tips about blogging and how to get better at blogging, I'm sure her personal brand will keep increasing. On top of it, tons of marketers on LinkedIn, tons of people who want to blog, tons of people who like to write. So it's literally the perfect place to do that. So to sum up, if you want to build a personal brand, always remember to focus on something you're good at and something you're passionate about. It takes time and consistency. Make sure also to narrow down your niche as much as possible. Your link 
LinkedIn profile is like a website. Your bio is a tagline, it's a hook, it's what needs to intrigue the reader and the person coming onto your profile. The about section is just the beginning of a conversation. Make sure that you are talking to one person, that way it will feel much closer and people will start bonding with your content. On top of it, start by engaging with others' content, especially if you have a very small audience, and at the same time, write thoughtful and helpful content so your new audience can actually benefit from all the tips and learnings that you've got. I hope it was helpful and have a lovely day. Love you all. Bisous.